Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It is good to see so many people out this afternoon celebrating with us what we describe here in our great city as a renaissance. And before I get into my very brief remarks, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize our elected officials here this afternoon, starting with the great Lieutenant Governor of the State of New Jersey, Jersey the Honorable Sheila Oliver. Yeah. I also want to introduce my good friend, the Chairman of the Senate Judiciary um, Committee, the Honorable Nicholas Katari. Present with us also is our city councilor, Steve Hawkaday. Is Steve here? Right here. Vice President of the Council, Barry Good. Our second and third ward councilor, Joylette Mills Ransom. Third Ward Councillor Charles McRae. First Ward Councillor Ashley Davis. Am I any of you? Fourth Ward Councillor Stacy Welch. And my favorite person in the assembly, the Honorable Linda Carter. So we have sunshine to bless us on this day. We do believe and everyone deserves decent quality housing. And we have been led to focus on providing quality housing to all of the people of the city of Plainfield. And this project that we are about to do the groundbreaking has been in the work for the last few years. And it is a demonstration of the commitment that we have to moving the city forward and doing all that we can to make sure that this city is recognized and continues to be invited to our developers, our investors, and that they will continue to come here. And so despite the COVID-19 pandemic, we are blessed to be a city that is on the move. As mayor of this great city, revitalizing our transit area has been one of our top priorities. And we will continue to ensure that Plainfield reaches its highest potential as a city of opportunities for everyone. This project is also an example of what is possible when we work together to overcome obstacles. As a result, we were able to reimagine transit-oriented development in our flood zone. And I couldn't be more proud of what we will witness upon the completion of this building. Our Director of Economic Development, Valerie Jackson, and my entire team, thank you for your dedication to implementing the vision of this administration. The Eden Property Company, Bennett Realty and Development, and Iron Ore Properties, thank you for choosing Plainfield. We appreciate you. And finally, I want to extend a very special thank you to our Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver for being with us and for taking the time out of her very busy schedule. This could not have been possible without the support of the Governor's Office and the approval of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. I must tell you, this was a very heavy lift. But through the collaboration and the cooperation of a number of parties and the support that we got from the state, this would not have been possible. It is because of this great collaboration that I am honored to have 1000 North Avenue written into the story of one Plainfield, one future. 